All right, so we're out here in the shop. Uh, today was hauling some rock and uh, was loaded coming out of the pit. Was in there paying for it. Me and a couple other drivers in there waiting and we heard a pow. And uh, I thought, man, that sounded like a tire. So he opens the door up and he's like, I don't see no dust. And I thought, well, it's probably an airbag. And it was, and it was my truck. So, we'll be doing a, an emergency repair. Yeah, anyways, definitely blowed it out. So we'll get the camera set up, get it jacked up. Luckily it's only three bolts and the airline, it comes right out of there, but it looks like it's sitting on a base of asphalt, which is no surprise to me. Everything on this truck's covered in it. So we'll get the uh, jack and jack stands up and get it up off the ground, take it off. I'm gonna get tired of working on this stuff. Comes a full time job sometimes. So I got the place to do it. Know how on the drive. Definitely getting old though. Amazing to me that all that weight and there's three bolts and that's it. Two, I, don't know, I think they're five sixteenths. I don't think they're three eighths. This one might be half inch thick, which you're talking 20,000 pound axle. Which on Volvos and some of the other ones, they just got a little bar with a bolt and the uh. The stands are plastic, which is even crazier to think about. Oh, I should have got an impact. Well, I guess I haven't had to work on this truck in a while. I'll take it back. I did the power steering pump. It was leaking. I still got to take the hood off of it. And uh, those drums, I call them drums. I don't know what they actually are. They're different holes in the block for the dipstick applications for off road or whatever. Oh, come on. What is the deal? There it is. Yeah. Yeah. A whole bunch of asphalt all over it. I wonder why that rubbed the hole in it, huh? It's asphalt caked all over that airbag. I seen some on the other one, one of the other ones too. So I guess I need to chip all that off. Yeah, see? One of the deals upside down. 
Chisel all that on, yeah. Right here, see. I might as well buy two of them. There you go. Check the other side. I just put four on it. So I bet they're all like that. Oh yeah, this one here is real bad. Yep. Draw forward, please. All right, I'm back out of here in the shop. Got a new airbag. There's 80 bucks a piece, so I just bought three more because I don't want to deal with this again. One of them little projects. So, anyways. It's already cleaned up the, the fitting. wire wheel I'll put the air valve on the last if I get all them on here 80 bucks a piece ain't too bad I bet Peterbilt probably would want two or three hundred dollars for them I got the dump truck outside. Figure it'd be easier to raise it all the way up. Got a jack and a jack stand under it. I was gonna drive uh, one of these duels over a big old block of wood. That'd probably give me enough room to get that uh, front airbag off if it, in a pinch, but since I'm gonna do all of them, I just wanna inject it up. These back ones are gonna be a little harder to get to that side, but we'll uh, get them off here. Get them changed. Wonder how long that's been like that. I got it in a vise. It's good to mark these and which way they're oriented. So it's not quite 90, it's a little bit off, which is pretty easy to remember. But I'll just put just a like if you had a bunch of different airlines facing different ways, it'd probably be important. But this one, it's just good habit. What it is.
If I'd have seen the bushing on there, I probably wouldn't have took it off. But I already loosened it up, so. So I just took it on apart. Might as well. Onto the truck.
It's galvanized, not brass. There's that one. fingers.
So I'm gonna let this jack down until that's almost on there. And this jack's probably gonna try to shoot out. Maybe, we'll see. So I don't have to fight trying to pick up on it. And... Now I can start the top bolts real easy and screw the bottom air lines and I'm done. Squirt bottle out, see how bad they're leaking. That looks like I bent that tea a little too much. I'll take it apart. I got one in the truck. Sometimes you just get to do stuff a couple times, that's all. Wouldn't, couldn't be that one over there. Had to be this one over here. I think I got everything here to fix it, except for maybe one of them pharaohs. Sometimes you're never more than one broken part away from an easy project turning into another trip to town. Let's so see what I can find. So I had some of that here. This is what I found. This is a water fitting. It's a little bit different, but I think as long as I use this cap, I think I'll be fine. So we'll go see. All right, so we're gonna see if it's gonna work or not. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't see why it wouldn't. I uh, also luckily had an extra T in the truck because I couldn't get the, where it broke off, I couldn't get it undone. Oh man. Oh half inch let's see if well the threads are different on that one if this thread's on there far enough it'll work i don't mind going to town to buy it but i'm running out of time of course all the taller guys will be there at eight in the morning Leaks a little, it's just gonna leak. Alright, well, I'll say that's tight enough for now. Okay, this needs to go. I'm gonna we'll make it a lot longer. Let's go around.
Sunset. Done with that project we're gonna move on to the next one we're gonna hook on the trailer get ready to do some dozer work tomorrow it wasn't too bad it probably took about two hours if i did it all at the same time hour and a half after you get everything scattered out and get ready so move on to the next one here we go